Alrighty guys, welcome back to another walkthrough. My name is Taylor Quayle. Today we are going to be looking at a 2011 Tiffin Allegro Bus 43 QGP. This is a quad slide tata, tag axle, probably about 43 and a half feet. God, it's a beautiful coach. We're going to run through the exterior here and we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. First off, door awning, main awning, and you have a couple window awnings that I put out so you can see that. Tire size. 295 ADR 225. These tires are four years old if you are interested. And you can see you got metal covers for both awnings and your slide toppers. These are manual, your, your uh, window awnings. Here's your first compartment here. Now this I think is for a cooler is what I usually see on here and you can see how far it will actually slide out. So if you are doing a little bit of a party, have some people come join you got extra connections there you could put another tv if you really wanted to but you do already have one now here is your slide out tray this will go both ways and this is part of your just insanely huge under base storage <clears throat> and you can see on this next one we have the same exact thing just without the tray so very nice like i said outdoor entertainment right here You can see you got your aqua hot system in there. Get that instant hot water. Four tires there, and then two in the back here on that rear axle. It does have a full auto leveling system, should be expected. That's where you put your diesel exhaust fluid. It's got its own compartment for it. And you can see all your batteries and disconnects. And that, well, it actually doesn't pull out, so we probably have more batteries somewhere here. Here's a look at the coach from the rear. Let's see if I can get you a halfway decent angle. <clears throat> All right. Now in the rear here, it is a side radiator. It's got a 450 Cummins in it, so you can't actually access the block. I mean, it's never easy, but you can't get to it from back here. Really easy to change the oil. You got a 10,000 pound hitch on the back, seven pin connector, a little air connection there. And you can't see, it does say 10,000, but it's pretty tough to see. You can see that window awning right there too. Only one window awning on this side. Side radiator, of course. It's your dump station. It's a little chaotic. You got your gray and your black, winterization, outdoor shower, Hose, and I got all types of stuff. Full coach water filter, even a little soap dispenser. Now this coach does have a full central bag system and a dustpan inside. And I'll be able to show you that once we get in there. But that's how you empty the bag. And here's going to be the other sides of your storages. And... I knew, I knew they were somewhere. Here's all your other batteries. Now that is on a tray, so you can't slide that out. Looks like you got six batteries in there. And then not really many, much stuff in here for the uh, standard buyer, mainly a tech access point. You can see your kind of electrical connection. You do have an air compressor in here, and that's actually how you pull the generator out. Fill on this side. I think I had to fill on both sides. Now, of course, backup camera, side vision, all standard. 10,000 Cummins on it. 1316 on it. Not too bad. Now, this coach does also have the front film. And that's why it's hard. Here we go. I can show you this corner. So it's a little bit of a shield on there to help protect against rocks and anything kicking up while you're on the highway. Over time, they do get scratched up, but they do exactly what they're supposed to and protect the front cap of your coach. You can't take them off. It is a little bit of a pain, but it is possible. Let me shut these really quick. All right, let's jump inside. So you got the door lock there. A couple steps in. And right when we walk in, you'll have your little control panel here, mainly for lights, awnings, things like that. And then here, the first piece. Like I said, quad slide coach, so very, very spacious. But we're gonna start up front. 
like I said, full levelers, Allison 3000 series. You have slide controls here. These are actually for the left and the right side, which is kind of nice. They are both electric. Engine preheat, you can move your pedals forward or back. Start up. Very solid. All right, odometer 36,380. And I know you guys already saw. There we go, there's engine hours too, 1461. Not bad. Backup camera, CD player, standard stuff. And then you do also have your solar shade and your night shade for the front. Very nice. And nothing else too crazy. I mean, map light is just for that one. You know, dock light, radio, standard stuff. You do have a spotlight, which you can't. You can kind of hear it. If it's dark out, you'd be able to see it, but it's not. All right, your seats, all power, and they do turn. And then on this side, you also have a leg rest that'll come out. So for the passenger, they'll have a nice, comfy ride. There is also a step cover. Let's see. Shine out. There it is. And well, maybe something I got to fix. But when you do have that step cover out, you do have a little desk right there. Maybe a little computer area. Very cool. Seats incredibly comfortable. You do have a little bit of wear on this front seat. Something to point out. All right. Now, in terms of storages in this front area, not really storage here. You got your satellite control, battery control, aqua hot and slides. And we must have some solar panels up top. I'm sure there's at least one big panel. If not, and if they did an upgrade, they probably have four or five up there. And then finally up front, your Blu-ray player. And more area for more stuff. All right, so we're going to start on the passenger side slide. Got one from that corner all the way down right past the sink there right before that backsplash is all on a slide. This is a sleeper. It is a pullout. So this coach will technically sleep four on paper is what they're going to say. Now these storage areas, as you can see, all connected. Man, was that? What was that? Oh, it wasn't an air mattress. There's a little bit of light reading material in there for you. The woodworking in here is absolutely beautiful. It's all solid. And you see little things like this sprinkled throughout the coach nice little drawer just to make it easier to access and store more convection microwave because there is no oven but i wonder if you can guess what that is dishwasher awesome it does also have the induction cooktop instead of your standard gas and then once again nice big slide out now we just got this coach in i still need to give her a good wash but i can't wait to put something this clean online down below the sink, you can see your storage, and then you actually have area to put that Corian countertop. That's why one is missing. Look how deep that sink is. That is amazing. Better than mine, mine at home. Corian tops the route. Real backsplash, not just a sticker. All very solid. Uh, beautiful tile floor. You do have a couple cracks sprinkled throughout, which, I mean, it's nine years old. You kind of got to expect that over time. All right. I got these three drawers. That one's a little bit deeper. Like I said, dishwasher. And then finally, three more drawers. All right. Now, that's the first slide. We're going to move on over to the second, second slide over here. So, as you can tell from that corner all the way down right past that beautiful refrigerator. They opted for the two chairs. Instead of having an opposing couch or something else. And then you do have a dinette here. It will pull out, give you more space. I'm missing some chairs. They're on order. They will be here soon. <laughs> Storage above. All three of these should be connected. Goes all the way down there. And same with these three. It's going to be dark, but there you go. All right. Now, you do have a couple drawers. Three of them here. And you got a little bit of storage under there. On the other side, I love this. It's like a another little pull-out desk area, which is kind of cool. And then, once again, sliders everywhere. It's for the central back system. We'll plug in. Well, that's actually a dustpan. Uh, we'll figure out where it plugged in here in a second. All right. 
And then, a little bit left of that, you have your KitchenAid French door fridge. I just bought a new fridge for my house. It's definitely not nearly this nice. And then down below, And then, when this slide is in, you do lose access to this TV, of course, watching it. But you do have, still have one up front, one in the back, one outside. Lots of TVs. A little bit of storage under there, more vacuum accessories. And then right here is a pretty cool panel. It's obviously AC, lights, fan. But then, right here, I love this. So, day and night shades. So you can see every day and night shade in the coach going down, obviously not the front. And then we can do nighttime shades and put all those down too. All from this control panel. You can see else we got, you know, dining lights, you got slides, you could pick specifically what you want to put down. Very nice, very in intricate. Take a little bit to learn it, but awesome. I don't think I showed you this compartment. Should be nothing too crazy. A little bit not nearly as deep and then right here is a full stack washer and dryer we're getting into the hallway here so it's getting a little tight I'm trying to give you the good angles it is a splendid setup it's not a combo unit big plus and i love how you have an ac vent in there to keep everything cool do you have a pocket door right here to shut off and then behind this door we have a toilet And a whole lot of toilet paper storage. Stock up for the apocalypse. Fantastic fan in here. You do also have a shade. It is on a, uh, uh, a, a cord, a Y, I guess. Manual. <laughs> Same Corian tops in here. A little sink, a little soap dispenser, light controls, three of those drawers. And then a little bit of storage, really just an access for the plumbing. But you do also have a medicine cabinet. All right, now you're probably wondering where the shower is. Well, I didn't say it, but this is a bath and a half model. So behind that door, you would think it'd probably just be a closet. It's a full residential bathroom. Two more slides once we get here to the bedroom. Corner, corner, king bed, air mattress. Very nice, very big. A little bit of storage here below. Let's see the air mattress hoses. Now these storage compartments above the bed should all be connected. It's gonna be dark. Let's open them and we'll get you a little bit more light. There you go. Beautiful be uh, bed board, power right there. Not much room if you needed like a CPAP machine or maybe you have to put it on the ground or something. And then the other slide right there to there. And then you have all this. You got more storage. You got a TV, of course. Another little window with the window awning right outside of it. This is probably where your like DVD player and stuff would go. Sheets. Oh, that's a totally a hamper. And you got four of these guys. This is your uh, this is your closet. Make good use of it. All right. Now, finally, did we look at these? Probably not. You also got that beautiful molding on top with a little baby ceiling fan. And look at all the air vents. <laughs> you are definitely not going to be uh, not going to be hot in this room. One more door separating that full bath and closet. Now this is beautiful. Same tiling throughout. You got your full wall closet there. Look at the vanity. It's beautiful. Storage down below. You got four of these drawers. I'll show you two. They're all the same size. And even more storage there. Obviously, not for the standard consumer. Breaker box. Beautiful, beautiful mirror. And then if you turn around, you got your corner shower. Now you're probably wondering how tall you could be in here because you got this cover. This cover does open. Gives you dramatically probably another six inches of headroom up there. Once again, if you've seen my videos before, you know how tall I am. I'm 5'9". I'm not even, I probably can't even jump and hit my head up there. All right, maybe I could, but 
Toilet, of course, medical china. And then, in case he couldn't store enough toilet paper in the other bathroom, there's more storage. And finally, here is your closet. There is a light in here. I didn't turn it on. Uh, oh well. Shoe storage up above, or whatever, gun storage. You can see you got that rail that goes all the way. There is a beautiful safe too. Store some more. And then you got that panel right there. That's actually how you access the motor from the top. Same with that one. And then, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see all this, but I'll try to pause it so you can kind of take a look at the weights, model numbers, things like that. And then I'll show you. I do also have a printout that gives you a good amount of info. All right, so here's our ad online. Try to highlight it so you can kind of see some of the uh, specifications of it. We're selling it for 170. Now this coach is here in Tucson, Arizona on our lot at Padata RV Center. We will be selling it as of right now. If you have any questions, you're welcome to give me a call or shoot me an email. Our phone number is 520-807-0900. My email is taylor at padatarvcenter.com. I'm going to back up here and give you one more peek. If you have any questions, go ahead, shoot them down in the comments down below. I'll see if I can answer them for you. In the meantime, I really appreciate you guys checking out my video, seeing this absolutely beautiful bus we just took in. Hope everyone has a great day. Got this guy moving in my back. You son of a gun. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.